How do hurricanes get their names? Storms used to be named for the places they hit and when they hit, like Hurricane Santa Ana, which damaged Puerto Rico in 1825, or the Great Galveston Hurricane of 1900. Guess where that was? Using first names for hurricanes seems to have started in the late 1890s in Australia by a meteorologist who thought it was funny to name storms after women, mythological characters, and politicians he didn't like. During World War II, US Navy and Army meteorologists started using their wives' and girlfriends' names for storms. It was simpler just to use one name, especially a name that they probably wouldn't forget. Things got official in 1953 when the National Weather Service put together an alphabetical list of women's names to use for hurricanes in the Atlantic. And in the late 1970s, they started using men's names too. Interesting delay there. Meteorologists divide up the earth into regions where storms occur. For example, the Atlantic Basin has six lists of 21 names each, and the lists just cycle through yearly. So whatever name they're on when a storm hits, that's what it's called. Sometimes a hurricane is so strong and devastating that they retire that name permanently and you'll never see it again. 